to the huddle with Coach Quinn Snyder. Let's just keep playing with the same intensity, okay? On misses, you guys really run in space. Anyone can bring it. Well, he's trying to get them to maintain that edge right now. And, and solid advice from Coach Snyder, wanting his squad to remain engaged. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. On the court right now for the Pacers. Sabonis and Turner up front. McConnell and Lamb in the backcourt. And it's Warren in at the three spot. Now Conley. Over McConnell. Conley's shot is off. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Warren, good. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game plan. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. His three-pointer is off the mark. Lamb passes to McConnell. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Here's Warren, offensive rebound. The shot by Turner, no good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. There's the foul. That's on Jeremy Lamb. That is his first foul of the game. Brogdon, he's checked in for Indiana. Lamb against Mitchell. Outside Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 11 rebounds in the game. Stolen by Conley. Mitchell up top. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. T.J. Warren picks one up. I really like Donovan Mitchell's composure out there, leading this team by example. Really a sponge. Donovan Mitchell watches a ton of film, accepts coaching, and applies it. A big part of his rise to stardom. Brogdon kicks to Sabonis. The pass to Lamb. Back to Sabonis. Indiana moving the ball around. Just five on the clock. Warren, the pass to Sabonis. Shoots over Clarkson. And with that, the Utah lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Sabonis. And the early success of Mitchell speaks to his ability to absorb and take coaching. Yes, credit that coach's staff putting him in position to succeed, helping him also to develop. His decision-making is growing game by game. Here's Lamb. Plays it up and banks it in. Lamb's got the lead up to one now for the Pacers. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Conley up top. He's guarded by Brogdon. And the shot goes in. Ten points for Conley. You won't find many players with the quickness of Mike Conley. He can dice you up. Here's Lamb. Pass to Sabonis. Tries a three. Rebound, Utah. Mitchell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. I got a feeling Donovan Mitchell will be watching this highlight over and over and over. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Sabonis. Back to Brogdon. Shot clock at six. Feeds to Warren. The three. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Bogdanovich has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Clarkson. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got assist number seven for him tonight. Pacers trail by six. 
passes to Sabonis. Here's Brogdon. Back to Sabonis. Five to shoot. Outside, Lamb. And they get it. And the call will be against Sabonis. That is his first foul of the game. Maxine baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Victor Oladipo, he's checked in for Indiana. Conley finds Gobert, and there's the call on Malcolm Brogdon. That'll be his second foul of the game. It's stolen by Oladipo. That's going to drive your coach crazy. Protect the basketball. He lost focus for one second. There goes the possession. Hands with the ball is out of bounds. Clarkson touched it last. Puts up a three. And Turner the bucket on the assist from Brogdon. Brogdon's got five assists tonight. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Mitchell against Oladipo. Can he keep it going? Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Mitchell's got ten points in just the second half. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And at this point of the game, getting a break here, important for the teams to regroup and for the players. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with Gatorade. Get ready to play strong to finish off the game. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on Nate McMillan talking to his team. He is upset about the perimeter play. He told the guys on the defensive end, stay connected to the shooters. On the offensive end, if you don't have an open shot, Pass it around. We'll see if the ball starts to unstick, Kevin. Here's Turner. Gobert with the defensive effort. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Buries it from three-point range. And you just have to admire that aggressive nature of Bogdanovich. He's just itching to pull the trigger as soon as the ball hits his hand. In against Conley. Now the pass to Sabonis. He dishes it to Warren. Pocket six. Sabonis kicks to Brogdon. Fires for three. Here's Turner. Count it. And he'll have a chance for a three point play. It's going to go on What's Boyan Bogdanovich. And you can just see by the way he fought for the putback that he's still got a lot of gas in the tank. Flat out effort play right there. The kind that can be the difference between a win and a loss. Royce O'Neal's checked in for the Jazz. Outside Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Utah. Shooting at a high clip. He's found ways to get quality looks. Here's Brogdon. Oladipo outside. And a great assist by Brogdon tight on, tight on. as that one goes in. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. And the Jazz call time here. Get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Donovan Mitchell. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. against Conley. Stolen by Brogdon. 
over Conley. There's a bonus. Good. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Conley against Brogdon. This one for three. The rebound by Turner. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. To the inside, Conley. Good D by Brogdon. He liked to have that one back. That's easy money. Pass to Oladipo. The shot by Brogdon wide open. That one's good from the corner. Brogdon's got the lead up to one now for the Pacers. Conley against Brogdon. Outside Bogdanovich. Gobert dishes to O'Neal. Five on the clock. Mitchell against Oladipo. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Hate to see that. I know everyone's mind is on the play, but you've got to protect the ball. Passes it to Warren. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Utah Jazz. It's a one-point game. And there's the call on Malcolm Brogdon. That's his third foul of the game. Mitchell against Oladipo. And here's Bogdanovich for three. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his eighth assist here tonight. Brogdon outside. The pass to Warren. Six to shoot. Pass to Sabonis. And Con... Tacked on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First one falls for him. He hits both from the strike, and the Jazz call time here. Conley against Brogdon. Conley the pass to Gobert. The first one falls. What I appreciate about Conley, the assist to turnover ratio for his career has been outstanding. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Outside Warren. Over O'Neal. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Jazz have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Back to Mitchell. Sabonis with the steal. Oladipo against Mitchell. Oladipo misses. You know, and after fighting to get back into it, that was the chance there to tie it up. Ever so close. Needed that one to go down. Pass to Sabonis. Brogdon inside the line. That one a little long. Utah leading. 
passes to Bogdanovich. Back to Mitchell. There's the triple. It's good from long range. Mitchell's got 15 points in just the second half. Donovan Mitchell's ready, and he knocked down one of the bigger shots of this game. Indiana's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Odipo against Mitchell. Oh, oh my, my goodness! Did you see what that a point? One <laughs> Unbelievable! And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily. The dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> on the free throw, no good. Jazz leading by three. O'Neal issues to come. We've got 108 left to play in the final quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the Shot's whistle, good. so a chance at the line for one more. Conley is used to these tight spots, just keeping calm and drilling the shot. Now they're going for the jugular. A few more trips like that, and we might be able to see this one in the books. Every second counts now. They can't wait around. And I don't think they will. The problem is they've waited too long to make a move. And with that shot, the Jazz lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Brogdon. Brogdon against Cumber. Here's Mitchell. It falls! The youngster is not going to buckle or fold. Donovan Mitchell is not afraid of the moment. And the Pacers call time here. They're behind by five. 41 seconds left in the fourth. Cloak loose, out of bounds. Pacers ball as Indiana keeps possession. Great energy on the deflection and a good job disrupting their offense. This is called an effort play. Terrific hustle at the defensive end. It's stolen by Gobert, and so they choose to intentionally foul. Guys, they're going to make him earn this one from the line. Obviously, his reputation at the strike has preceded him. Rudy Gobert can change the game in so many ways. He does it with his length, his height, and his impact. And Oladipo kicks to Brogdon. Off target with his three, and he commits the intentional foul. the first one and that increases their lead to six and so he drops them both it's a seven point game productive trip to the line extended their lead timeout called the Pacers they're trailing by seven we've got 28 seconds left to play here in the fourth Turner kicks to Warren. Oladipo for three. Good! And now they trail by just four. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now.
twenty three seconds left in the fourth quarter in the corner O'Neal with it back to Bogdanovich and now an intentional foul they need the ball back as soon as possible honestly just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back at the line your jazz Oyan Bogdanovich so the first one drops and that puts them up by five and Bogdanovich is a confident, efficient player, a guy who can play either the two or three spots on the floor. Big moment at the line. As poised as you get, this thing is done. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. So he gets them both, and it's an eight-point game. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. From deep three-point range, off target with that shot. And so it's Utah with the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. But once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Mike. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.